let me tell you why the tribulations and the trials and the pain and everything have been so strong in your life. It is because there is a war for your soul. There is a real war for your soul. Come on now. <laughs> That's why you have been through so much pain. That's why the tests and the trials are so real. <sighs> That's why everything has been trying to break you. Those things have tried to break you. The enemy has been trying to take you out. And for some of you, the enemy has been trying to make you take yourself out. It's because there is a real war for your soul. And God loves you. You are loved. You are not alone. Jesus loves you. Jesus truly made a way. He sacrificed. He gave it all so you can have eternal life because he loves you. He gave a free gift to us. He gave us his love. He gave us him. So we can be forgiven for our sins. So we can be one with him. And the enemy wants to take it all. He wants to destroy you. He wants your soul. In John 16, it says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. God has overcome the world. And it says that greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. See, what the enemy will try to do is he will try to cause so much chaos. We'll have to go through trials, right? But he'll try to cause so much chaos in you to make you yield to him. Right? So, I can tell you so many examples. There are examples of people hurting you. People betraying you, backstabbing you, doing evil and wickedness to you. And yet you are still called to love and forgive them. But the enemy will try to make you hate them. The enemy will try to make you hold anger and hatred and revenge. The enemy will try to block your mind and make you suffer, make you suicidal, make you can't forgive. We are not to yield to the enemy. We are not to yield to what the enemy wants to do with us. We are to yield to God. We are to forgive. We are. And we are to allow those trials and tribulations to shape and form us into who God has called us to be. And so we will be rewarded for everything. We must endure though. We have to endure all things so we can have eternal life. We have to have endurance and we have to love. We have to be righteous and holy before the Lord. But 
God loves us so much that he sent his only begotten son that we may have eternal life, which is a free gift from God. So don't allow the enemy to take it away because of the trials and tribulations that you go through. The things that you have been through and the things that they have done to you. Don't allow the enemy to take your free gift away because of a hatred or unforgiveness. Your life is worth more than everything that you're going through. Your eternal life and your salvation means more than everything that anybody could ever do to you. Because Jesus loves you. Can I pray for you? I'm going to pray for you. <sighs> yes. Father, I thank you for the person who was watching this video. In the name of Jesus. Lord, if they have clothed themselves with any darkness, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will lift it off of them now in Jesus' name. Lord, we give you all of our burdens, our pains, our hurts in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, God, that you will replace it with your joy and your peace, your strength, your love, your peace in the name of Jesus. Your joy, God. Endurance, God. I pray, Father God, that everything that they have been through, that you will show them why they had to go through it. That you will show them what they're going to get out of what they've been through, God. And that you will show them their reward is great. I pray that you, they will begin to hear you and see you. And that you will speak to them and love on them. I pray that you will release them now in the name of Jesus from every hurt, every pain that's on their heart, oh God. Lift off the pain, oh God. Lift it off of their heart, the anxiety in Jesus' name. I come against anxiety and I command you to remove yourself in Jesus' name. I command every spirit of anxiety, depression, hurt, pain, loneliness to be removed from this person now in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything of hurt and pain, regret, everything lingering, everything of the past, oh God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you, God, that you will remove it. <laughs> that you will love them, God. That you will show them who you are, God. And that you will show them to forgive and move forward. That you will teach them how to love again, God. That the darkness that the enemy has tried to put in their heart be removed in Jesus' name. And that they will love through your spirit, God. And let your presence fill them, God. Allow them and help them to forgive. Allow them to press forward in your strength, God. Allow all temptation to cease even today, God. And let them overcome sin. Let them overcome what's in the world. Let them not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of their minds, Lord. Show them how much you love them. Show them that there is more to this life than this. Show them the pain and the suffering has a purpose and that there is a calling and a purpose on their life, God. In Jesus' name, amen.